Yeah. What is the difference between what you dreamed of when you were 25 versus what you're dreaming of at 55? Oh, good question. Good question. Man. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. We're going, we don't need roads. Hey. Hey, guys. Ooh. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Where are you? I'm in Chicago. Nice. Good to see That's Chicago, too. Oh, uh, seriously, I love you guys. I genuinely love this movie. I always tell people if I don't love a movie, I just awkwardly start the interview and don't say anything about it. But I, <laughs> I truly, I love it. And and Adam, you and I, you've been talking to me since I was a kid, and I truly appreciate your time, man. Hey, good to see you, buddy. You yeah. grew up nice. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. Um, Adam, I know when it comes to your dramatic work, I think it's really easy to ask what lessons you learned from working with Paul Thomas Anderson or the Safties that you've carried over. But I want to know what lessons you've learned and brought over from comedy? Like, what did you learn on Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore or The Waterboy that you've been able to utilize in your more dramatic work? Best thing about a movie, which he learned, <laughs> you can have take two, take three, take four. <laughs> you're, you can take a risk, and hopefully uh, one of the risks you take fit the movie. So, yeah, comedy, you go, you try stuff out, you try to land on a joke that works or uh, an attitude that works and then you watch the playback and you go, okay, that makes sense or that uh, that was a, a big miss. Let's try something else. You you rarely miss, Matt. Wancho, I got to tell you, you're, you're so phenomenal in this. And I know a lot of people are going to be watching this curious to see what kind of an actor you are. And I think they're going to be surprised by how good you are. Exactly. But I want you to be honest. I'm curious, what kind of a ball player is Adam Sandler? Like, does he hold himself on the court? Because our Bulls need a little help if they're going to go any further in the playoffs. So, so we might have to bring might have to bring Adam over to Chicago. I'm a good fit for the Bulls. Uh, he, he can sign right now a 10-day contract with Chicago. 10-day, <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll earn a spot. He passed the rock. Uh, yeah. he, I always, when they ask me how he looked like a player, I say like a white, chubby Magic Johnson. <laughs> But uh, he's the same. He's the same passer. I mean, yeah, I we, like to we, pass. Yeah, he loves to pass. Sometimes I get mad to him because he he was yeah, wide you open. Yeah, he would always pass it back and he go take the shot. He was wide open and he don't want to shoot. I no. said, Adam, we need you to shoot too. He was like, no, no I'm passing the ball. My percentage isn't as good as Watcher. I'm like, you take that shot. And he, now, he, a team player is what I'm hearing right thank now. You. Thank you. He yeah. doesn't see it that way. He sees me as a chicken who's afraid to shoot. No, we we have so much fun. We play a lot of games. We yeah. play pick up games. We play yeah. during yeah. the the scenes. And he's a great player. I I think if he were six seven, two hundred pounds, he would yeah. be an NBA. I, if I was six seven, a lot faster and a better better at no, everything. No, you cannot be faster because there's a lot of players who play ball right now like Luca or like Jokic yeah. and yeah. they are MVPs and they are yeah. not that fast. But to, can they get back? To the uh, like, can they chase you down and block a shot? Can like, uh, you know what they, I mean? I don't think I can chase anybody down. You can. Not yeah. with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, man. Oh, uh, so you know, this question's for both of you, but Adam, I'm going to lead off because I've, I, I, since we we're talking basketball, I've always wanted to know <laughs> what it's like sitting next to Jack Nicholson. Uh, court side at a Lakers game, and and then on the flip side of that, Wancho, what is it like when you're playing? And you look over, and there's some massive celebrity just yeah. ha like watching you. Like, like, well, I'm curious what the, both of those experiences are like on either side of it. Sitting next to Nicholson is fun as hell. We had every time I've been with that guy at a game, it's it's memorable. We laugh our asses off. We have just nothing but anything he has to say about what happened in the game is funny. Everybody looks at him. Everybody wants to talk to him. Every player, every coach. Uh, we'll say something, then look back at Jack, and Jack will say something, and it's always beautiful. But you, so yeah, what, what is it like? I mean, I'm still waiting to see Adam in, in a court seat in, in my games. I talk yeah. like I, I, I can miss a pass to him, and he just catch and shoot. Oh, that would be. By talking, he's afraid to shoot. Yeah, <laughs> I just pass it right back to you. Team yeah. player, I, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, and as we wrap up, Adam, I'm going to cut you loose on this. You have a line in the film where you say guys in their 50s don't have dreams. You're, you're 55 now. I'm sort of curious, how have your dreams That's changed? Yes. Uh, you look good. You look damn good, sir. Yeah, 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 curious, yeah, what, yeah. what is the difference between what you dreamed of when you were 25 versus what you're dreaming of at 55? Oh, good question. Good question. Man. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. When I was 25 uh, in his age bracket, I dreamed many th dreams. I wanted to be successful, good at what I do. I wanted to uh, be at the top of my game. At 55, I say, eh, <laughs> whatever happens. No, no, no. I still work hard. Yeah. Just not 
the, the dream, you know what the dream is at my age? You want your kids happy. You don't think about yourself as much. You just want your kids to have a great, great life and a great day and a great and, and try to lead them in the right direction. And, and uh, that, that, that's the dream. Guys, I, I genuinely love you so much. I love this movie so much. Adam, I have to thank you. Uh, you, and, you allowed me to sit next to you in an award show one time when you're nominated for Best Actor. And somehow we ended up on TV. And oh, my, all my buddies texted me, go, like, like, do you know Adam Sandler? And I go, yes, I do. I do know Adam Sandler. <laughs> we do, man. We're so, yes. So I appreciate you guys. I know you have a busy day. So thank you for fitting me into your schedule, man. I really appreciate thank it, you. man. Good Love to see it. you guys. Bye. Take care. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. We're going, we don't need roads.